I have some cardboard here, and it's just a cracker box. And I'm just going to make several lines, and then I'm just going to cut these out. Now I'm just going to cut the first one, whatever size I'd like my pendant to be. And now I'm just going to cut these out a little bit smaller each time and cut the next one. Now put that one down. And this is the last one I cut. Again, a little bit smaller. Put that one down. This is the last one that I cut out. And I am going to cut it a little bit smaller. And so this is the largest one. And I'm just going to cut a little bit off of this one. And then the next one has to be a little bit smaller. So I just made this little mark to guide me, so I'm going to cut a little bit smaller than that. And I'm going to take my next one. Again, I'm just going to make a little cut there. Put this down. And cut this one a little bit smaller again. And I'm going to go to my very last one. Now you can do as many of these as you want. all depends on how much dimension you want for your pendant. So what I have here now is five layers of cardboard. And I'm going to glue them one on top of the other. And you won't need any glue for the top one. Just spread out my glue. Line up my next one. Spread the glue. I've got a catalog here, and I'm just going to pick something from in this catalog. I think I'm going to go with this one. Cut out a piece like that, and you're going to want it to be able to, well, that would have been cute too, you're just going to want to be able to wrap it around whatever you need to wrap around the bead. Trim right there where it's going to fold so I can get a good fold, like that. Apply some glue to the front, and I'm going to spread it all over. And get some everywhere. Place it down where your marks are. Like that. Put some glue. Still had some glue on my finger, so I'm going to put that on. Put some more glue on the back. Just going to start rolling this over. Put a little bit more glue here. And fold this over and get a good snug fit. And now I'm going to set it aside to dry. Now that the bead is dry, I'm going to make a hole with a hammer and a nail. And I'm going to paint the entire pendant with clear nail polish. When the front is dry, I'm going to turn it over and paint the back as well. Pass the wire through that hole fold it up and twist it around like that and fold the top part down and then twist this one around like that. For the necklace I took a ribbon, yarn and just a stretchy strand and I grouped them together and on the end I placed a jump ring, I folded this over and then whipped, stitched around. Thread all the beads on your cord first. Click on the next link to find out how to make these newspaper beads. I have a needle and thread attached to the end, and I've threaded all three strands through the jump ring. Fold them over, and take a couple of stitches here. Now wrap the thread tightly around all of the strands and probably go about a quarter of an inch like that.
and secure with a few stitches. Cut off the thread and then trim all of those ends. And then I made a clasp. Click on the next link to find out how to make clasps. And I attached it to the jump ring. There's the finished necklace. So that's how you can make some beveled paper beads.